Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Family courts can waive the six month statutory waiting period for considering divorce by mutual consent pleas under the Hindu Marriage Act, the Supreme Court has said. This is if the parties have lived separately for 18 months before moving court, efforts to reconcile their differences have failed, and claims of alimony and custody of children are already settled. The government of India has said that it was perplexed by the UN criticism of New Delhi's approach towards Rohingya refugees. India stated it enforced its laws to deal with possible security threats posed by illegal migrants, which should not mean that the country lacks compassion and an appreciation of human rights. The ruling AIA DMK's General Counsel has annulled the appointment of VK Sasikala as the party's General Secretary. It also struck down the appointments made by her before going to jail, including making her nephew TTV Dinakaran the party deputy general secretary. RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat has told ambassadors and diplomats of around 50 countries that his organization does not control the BJP nor is controlled by the party. He added that the Sangh does not support internet trolling and work on the basis of no discrimination and oneness of the nation. Muscat has secured the release of an Indian priest who was abducted last year during a deadly attack by Islamist militants in Yemen. Father Tom has been held captive since March 2016 when jihadists attack a care home operated by missionaries in Aden, killing 16 people including four nuns. China is ready for talks to reopen the Nathula Pass for Indian pilgrims to Kailash Mansarovar. Beijing had closed the pass in mid-June over the military standoff at Doklam, which was resolved last month. The centre has increased dearness allowance and dearness relief by 1% to 5%, benefiting 50 lakh employees and 61 lakh pensioners. The combined impact on the exchequer on account of both DA and DR would be Rs 3,068.26 crore per annum. At least 1 million bank accounts of Maharashtra farmers are fake and they will not get any benefit of the loan waiver. State Revenue Minister Chandrakant Patil claimed that most of these accounts were earlier opened by the banks or credit societies for symphoning of the loan amount. New coins in the denomination of Rs 100 and Rs 5 will be issued soon by the government. This is to commemorate the birth centenary of AIA DMK founder Dr. M.G. Ramchandran and renowned Karnatak singer Dr. M.S. Subbulakshmi. Actress Kalki Kochalin feels that women are finding their space in society with better education and greater job opportunities and says domestic responsibilities also need to be shared equally between genders. The actress is gearing up for two upcoming releases, Gia or Gia and an independent film titled Ribbon. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from Punjab, Canada and Gujarat follows.